Over the past 15 years since we started producing snowmobiler television, we've had the privileged opportunity to ride many wonderful spots in the snowmobiling world. With that in mind, we are often asked where our favorite places to ride are. The truth is there's too many great places to snowmobile to pick just one. So rather than say this or that is the best, the STV crew conferred over some travel logs and put together some of our most memorable tours. Here are three that you'll want to consider for great Canadian snowmobiling destinations. Heading to the east coast, you will find an absolute paradise in Newfoundland, Labrador. This province has some of the best riding you can find anywhere, and it is one of snowmobiling's best kept secrets. What's not so secret is the awesome hospitality and warm welcome visitors will get when they visit. The Noofs are near and dear to our hearts, and for good reason. They are awesome people. We spent a good chunk of time riding the west coast of Newfoundland and would recommend it to anyone. From Grossmore National Park to the Lewis Hills, this place has it all. You can expect anything from nice, gentle slopes, trail riding, uh, mom and pop rides. You can expect uh, nice, big air coming off of cornices up in the mountains. It, it all depends on what you want. It's here. Everything is here. And it's all within like minutes. You get on a groom trail if you want to do backcountry ride and get on your groom trail and within an hour you're back into the mountains and you can play to your heart's content, you can jump, you can bump, you can slide, you can roll, you can do whatever you want, just do it safely we hope. Um, or you can get on a trail and you can travel for days and just overnight in different places and way to go. We got some good trail riding here uh, through covered country and there's some open trail riding which we'll take you to later. And we're the gateway to the Lewis Hills, which is the highest point on the island. So it's a, uh, uh, we groom to the base of the hills, and after that, you're on your own. When one hears the name Manitoba mentioned, it is usually accompanied by a shiver. Given that we need cold for our riding pleasures, the cold associated with Manitoba just means good things to sledders. Dressed and ready for a frosty session, the crew headed into Thompson, Manitoba for a long weekend of spin in the track. We did not need the extra gear as the temperature was absolutely friendly, as were the great folks at the Thompson Trail Breakers Club. As for the riding in these parts, well, it starts early, ends late, and is phenomenal all season long. Riding ranges from groom trails, nice wide two-lane trails, to uh, some little backcountry tracks. There's also lots of lakes, lots of powder that you can go and play in, so there's riding conditions for just about everybody. Well, it's, it's a great spot, I mean it really is the hub of the north. We, we come up here if you enjoy fishing in the summertime, I mean, we have great lakes I and mean, the fish bite. I mean, it's, like a, it's like an old movie with the fish. You cast in and the fish bite that fast. In the wintertime, we have a long season with, with snowmobiling. So people that like the outdoors, they really fit in in the community and they enjoy it up here. And there's a lot of people that, that retire here and that's make a good spot. It's a nice spot, fit like small size community for the families. It's, it's out in you know northern Manitoba, so it's in a rural area, but it's got a lot of benefits. And if you enjoy the outdoors, I mean, it is really an ideal spot. If you are like many other sledders who live in flatland country, a mountain riding experience is one you'll likely have on your bucket list. But this special place we visited is also one that gets ranked highly even by the seasoned mountain riders. It is the Grizzly Lodge, which is located between Sushwap Lake and Adams Lake in the Sushwap Mountains in the southern interior of British Columbia. Uh, actually, no, we've got uh, this mountains, uh, it's made up of multiple ridges and different uh, peaks and so on. It's quite mellow, a lot of it. Good riding for uh, beginners, good riding for intermediates. Uh, it's uh, deep and steep isn't too far away. If you've got some extreme boys on their turbos, we've got that as well. As far as acreage wise, we've got pretty close to 25,000 acres of rideable terrain. I have never seen it crowded yet. You can drop a uh, hundred sleds in here and pretty much ride all day on your own and uh, not cross their tracks if you can. East, west or anywhere in between, there's no shortage of great places to go riding. We suggest you get out and start your own favorites list and sample as many as you can. The riding, the scenery, and the fun factor never get old. <laughs>